Hello and welcome to the science theory. This is part two of the more powerful shortwave transmitter. As you can see, I changed a lot of things. And in this video, I will talk about these changes. So first you can see I have this capacitor. I made a video about that one. And I made this capacitor just for this transmitter. Before I had this uh, tiny um, capacitor, but the, the, that didn't work and was pretty shitty to adjust. So I made this one and I can adjust this. So this is pretty nice. Then I had the whole circuit on, on this circuit board and have it like wired in the air and that was not very nice and a bit messy. So I made everything on this circuit board and just made a better circuit board. Then I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, I have an LED and a capacitor here and that helps these transistors driving the MOSFET, um, otherwise they can burn out. Um, it's just there to have like this transistor not driving to zero volts all the way because it's enough if you have the voltage that's dropping on the LED. So I think LED is two volts, so it only drops to two volts and that helps the transistor not driving this or draining this current like up to zero volts. And then I changed the inductances and I have thicker wire actually now. I have this like super thin wire and for a, a I don't know what it is, five, five watts or something, five watt transmitter, these inductances are uh, should be like thicker wire. So I bought this thicker enameled wire and this is 0.7 millimeters in diameter and this is much better than the thinner wire and it, it's nice and stiff so that's that's better for the inductances and this these are just wound uh, with like this cardboard and around a AA battery. I think I don't have one lying down here. Oh, here it is. Yes, just a normal AA battery, double A. Yes, double A, <laughs> they're called double A. And then you have the calls. This is um, eight windings. So from plus to the MOSFET is eight windings. And from there to the load, so basically this is just a dummy load. Um, this is 12 windings. Then I have the boost converter. So this gets like only the driver gets 12 volts. That's enough for the driver. And the MOSFET actually needs 18 volts. So I have this boost converter and this goes through this inductor here. This was the um, eight winding inductor goes into the MOSFET. All right, let's turn this on. Um, I have this fan here because, uh, like I said, one of these transistors, this one gets a bit warm or a bit hot. So I will cool everything so it stays nice and cool. Also, this the MOSFET is not on the heatsink, so I have to put these pliers on there to like hold it on the, onto the heatsink. All right, you can see this. The LED is glowing, so uh, that it's also pretty nice to have the LED there um, because you can see this thing is on. And all I have to do is, oops, woo, I have to screw this back on for a moment. All right, that's fixed. And if I plug this in, the MOSFET gets 18 volts. And you can see the LED, uh, not the LED, the normal lamp is glowing. It's not glowing as strong actually, or is this just because of the light? I think that's just because of the light. It's, uh, it looks a bit dark. I can try to adjust the capacitor. I actually have to be a bit careful because the plates are um, otherwise touching. So adjusting this while it's running, it's not very smart. Ah, now the the um, it's dropped. I think you can see in the uh, picture, like on the 
thing right here that the um, RF power dropped so I have to adjust this yeah I think I leave it like that but you can see the uh, light bulb is glowing from the RF power so this is a 20 watt light bulb so so yeah 20 watts and this is probably 5 watts or something going in there definitely better than before and like I said that's a 20 watt light bulb so it's probably like 3 to 5 watts going in there and the meter shows uh, approximately 15 volts RF like going in this meter it just uh, shows the relative strength so it's not like 15 volt actual volts it can only compare like this is low this is high all right that's the update for this thing i still have to build an enclosure and put everything like uh, neatly together and not like with the wires flopping around and with the inductances like in the air and i have to find them i think a smaller heatsink for the mosfet is fine as well and scooters down properly also this is just a transmitter this still has to be modulated so we can play audio this is just sending like eight, eight megahertz and i still have to build something that modulates this all right i hope you liked this video and if yes then subscribe for more science projects until next time bye